So I'm going to discuss today two experiments for determining whether the Earth is flat or round. I'm here at uh, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, on Palisades Drive. I'm at National Geodetic Survey marker um, Sunrise in Sunrise Park on Signal Mountain with a published elevation of 1,838 feet. And behind me is Big Frog Mountain, which is 4,183 feet. Uh, we have 10 mile visibility today so that uh, it can't be seen. I've been waiting for four days to, to get a sight on it and uh, it's not gonna happen this trip for me. But uh, if you get 50 miles of visibility, there's two mountain peaks that you can see on the horizon. And you can turn an angle to the top of those mountains from this location. You can turn a precise angle with the theodolite of, uh, of a two second accuracy. And there should be no, no question in uh, interpreting the results. The math is simple. I've shown uh, the, the calculations attached to this video and I've shown the graphic. Um, the results can, can uh, only come out uh, one of two ways. If the Earth is flat, and if we live in a, in a uh, Cartesian coordinate system, you use the simple laws of uh, trigonometry and geometry from 10th grade mathematics, you come up with an uh, uh, inclined angle of 33 degrees in 30, uh, 30, 33 minutes and 36 seconds to the top of Big Frog Mountain if you're looking out on azimuth 100 degrees. If you are on a curved surface, then you're going to lose 1,430 feet due to the curvature of the Earth looking out the, the uh, 45 mile approximately distance to get to Big Frog Mountain. You're going to turn an inclined angle of 13 minutes and 30 seconds to the top of Big Frog Mountain if the Earth is spherical or if it's curved in this direction. This is an east-west test, uh, so you're going to be looking at the curvature in the, in the east-west direction, approximately 10 degrees off of, uh, off of true uh, east-west. There's another mountain peak at an a, uh, a azimuth of 82 degrees and 46 minutes from here. It's called Oswald Dome. There's also a survey station on top of Oswald Dome, so we know a precise elevation for that peak. And it's 3,022 feet and 40, 45 miles approximately uh, from this point. Again, today we have 10 miles of visibility. We can't see either one of those mountain peaks out there. But the angles that you'll turn to Oswald Mountain are going to be 18 minutes and 7 seconds if you're living on a flat earth. And if you're living on a curved earth, you're going to lose 1,229 feet of, of elevation out in that direction. Due to curvature, you're going to turn a angle of minus 1 minute and 3 seconds to that location. So those are precise tests. Your, your instrument measures precisely. My intention is when I turn the angles, I'm going to turn them 24 times, 12 times direct, 12 times with the scope indirect, um, and reset the, reset the base of the tripod 12 times to turn all of those angles. I'm looking forward to doing that and reporting them in the third video of, of this, this sequence, of which I intend to do five. The, the first test that I had mentioned is the Anacapa Arch, which as I understand in, the, in the, the bay out in the San Francisco area, is 40 feet high above the seawater. My understanding is that you can see it from a 16 mile distance. So if you are going to turn the angle from 16 miles to the top of Anacapa Arch, which is 40 foot high, you're going to read 1 minute and 25 seconds of an inclined vertical angle. And if you're on a curved Earth surface, you're going to turn a degree of minus 2 minutes and 23 seconds 
into the horizon where you will see water and you will not see the Anacapa Arch. So those are the two tests that I've proposed that we uh, have a look at. Uh, feel free to leave any comments that you want. Um, and it'll be probably two weeks before I can get back to this location to, to uh, set up the instrument and turn the angles. Thank you for watching this video.